title is, as you said, a note on positivity of differential operator with samarsky yankin type condition. This is a joint work with Professor Allahveran Ashirabiyad, Bahçeşehir University. <clears throat> Let me start. Okay. It is well known that positivity of differential and difference operator in Hilbert and Banner spaces plays a crucial role in the study of various properties of boundary value problems for PD and of different schemes for PD also, and moreover, summation of Fourier series uh, converging in C norm. <clears throat> Let me remind you some definition. Uh, let A be densely defined <clears throat> An operator in a Banach space E with domain of DE, DA, sorry. If the spectrum lies in this uh, interior of the sector uh, S phi with angle phi zero to pi, symmetric with respect to X axis. And <clears throat> moreover, we have the following property on the boundary and also outside of the sector, we have the following estimate, uh, this one. Okay, now the spectral angle of the positive operator A is the infimum of such angles, and phi of A is uh, denoted by phi of A. Let's say if phi of A is less than pi over 2, it is so-called uh, strong the positive operator in this one space E. Now remember, recall that if A is a sample chain positive definite operator in a Hilbert space H with dense domain, to be more precise, A star is equal to A more than or equal to delta identity operator. Then it is strongly positive with the spectral angle is equal to zero. In this sense, we can think of the positivity of operator in Banach space is a, is a generalization of the notion of the self chain positive operator in Hilbert space. Now for a positive operator A in a Banach space E, I would like to introduce some uh, spaces fractional spaces associated with that one. <clears throat> the first one is E alpha. E alpha EA denote the fractional space of vectors of the, uh, from E satisfying the following norm one uh, is finite. And another one is let E alpha P uh, be the fractional space of all vectors V in E for which two norm is finite. Now, the positivity of wider class of differential operators in Banach spaces have been, uh, has been uh, investigated by several authors and uh, researchers. These are just some of them. And for a historical improvement about the subject, I would like to uh, refer the paper for 14. However, for the sake of completeness, I would like to uh, explain or recall some of the papers. Let me start with the first one. Now, in the paper 15, for instance, Stewart proved uh, the uniformly elliptic operator of an even order with general boundary conditions with uh, a condition generating analytic semigroup in the topology of uh, uniform, topo uh, uniform convergence. As application, he also gave uh, existence and uniqueness theorem for parabolic initial boundary problem uh, with the help of Kato Tanabe theory. Uh, uh, for temporary inhomogeneous evaluation, equation number three. Second uh, uh, paper I would like to recall, Solomiak, in paper 16, he considers uh, equation number four, where lambda is a complex number, omega is a bounded domain with sufficient smooth boundary gamma, and A is positive self chains Moreover, uh, U satisfies the Dirichlet boundary condition. Now with sufficient smooth coefficients, he proves he, he proved the following. He proved the positivity of the operator A in the LP space. Fractional spaces generated by the difference and differential operator in the entire space. I would like to recall some of them. Uh, let us consider differential operator five, which is acting on the functions defined on the entire space, where R is the multi-index. Let us assume the symbol. Uh, six of the operator Bx satisfies the uh, elliptic condition uh, estimates number seven. Then for sufficient large delta, the elliptic operator A uh, is strongly positive in the Banach space C and also LPRN for P is bigger or equal to one less than infinity. Now, why are the real uh, interpolation methods? We know that E alpha is equal to Euler space. 
uh, now equation eight, and also E alpha P, uh, LPRN is equal to uh, W T space uh, for all alpha for uh, satisfying the these conditions. Now in the papers 18 through tw uh, 22, Siminski and Sobolewski consider the difference operator AH, which is uh, an elliptic difference operator of an arbitrary high order accuracy appro approximating the multi-dimensional elliptic operator A, which was before. Uh, they prove the difference analog of the above results. And let me uh, recall some paper about the uh, house space. Uh, in the papers 23 to 26, Danilich considered difference operator AH, which is an arbitrary high order accuracy approximating the multi dimension into operator A, defined by equation number 10 with domain 11. Uh, 11. And she proved the strong positivity in AXH in the Banach space CH, uh, where this is the uh, difference analog of the C of house space for sufficient large delta. Passing to the limit when h goes to zero, one can get the strong positivity of differential operator in the Banach space C house space. Now, in the uh, paper 27, uh, the authors consider the two dimensional elliptic differential operator AX with dependent coefficient on the whole space R cross R1, where uh, A is equal to 12 and domain is like this 13. And uh, here the coefficient A11 and A22 are continuous differentiable with the uniform ellipse ellipsistic condition number 14, estimate number 14. And moreover, sigma is a positive number. They proved the green function of, uh, they, they construct the green function of AX. Moreover, the positivity of the operator in the Banach space, CR plus cross R1 bus proof. Uh, furthermore, uh, the strong positive of AX in C beta holder space was proved. And finally, uh, when beta and uh, two alpha plus beta satisfies in, in the zero one uh, uh, interval, they prove the topology equals of the E alpha space and also hold their space in that paper. And uh, I would like to talk about the local boundary condition, uh, possibility of differential and difference operator with local boundary condition. In the papers 28 to 30, uh, Alibeko and Sobolevsky consider the simple difference operator AXH, which is an elliptic difference operator of second order of accuracy approximating the multidimensional elliptic differential operator A defined by 15, which acts on the functions on the unit disk, yeah, I'm sorry, not uh, uh, unit, uh, unit square, satisfying uh, condition U is equal to zero on the boundary. One more time here, omega is the unit cube and S is the boundary. What they prove, they prove the strong positivity of this difference operator in the one space LP omega H which is the difference analog of LP uh, omega bar. I'm sorry, they also proved the C omega H bar, which is the difference analog of C omega bar. And passing to the limit H goes to zero, one can get the strong positivity of differential operator in the one space LP omega bar and C space. And moreover, first time, uh, first time in uh, paper, uh, in uh, actually the thesis 31, uh, Sobolevsky proved the strong uh, positivity of AXH in the different analog of other spaces, namely like that, weighted boundary condition, uh, weighted on the boundary. Now, in the uh, in 32, uh, it is considered the operator AX defined by the 16 where delta positive with domain is uh, 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 is considered. And moreover, A is smooth, defined on the segment zero L, which is posted away from the zero. Uh, they prove the point was estimates for the green function uh, for the operator A. And moreover, they apply these green uh, estimates to uh, prove the positivity in the Banner space C01. And for mu between zero to one over two, 
They also prove the equivalence of the norms uh, of the fraction spaces E mu and also Hodel space C dot two uh, mu. Uh, just by the way, C dot two mu is the Hodel space where the uh, condition like this. And furthermore, they furthermore they prove the strong positivity in this space, Hodel space. Uh, <clears throat> In uh, in paper 33, Bazarov considered a second order approximation of the differential operator AX defined by the formula 16, which I which I explained the differential form. Uh, the difference operator AX H defined by the formula 17, uh, with condition like this, they prove. Uh, they they prove the. Uh, I'm sorry. He proved the. I think he. he I'm sorry if I I'm, I'm wrong. Uh, Bazarov proved the difference analog of the about results, uh, which was explained before. And I would like to talk about the uh, non-local uh, positive differential and difference operator with non-local boundary conditions. Uh, in the paper 33, uh, 34, uh, Ashrelia and also Karakaya consider the differential operators 18 where delta positive with domain of definition is like this. Uh, where A is smooth, defined on the zero L, and A is uh, away from the zero, positive away from the zero. They prove the establish the strong positivity of the operator AX in the C space. Uh, they also prove the equals of the fractional norms of the equal, uh, norm, norms of the fraction space E mu and also Hölder space. And I think that's it. Moreover, they also uh, prove the positivity of AX in the Hölder space, C2 alpha 0, L, where alpha is between 0 to 1 over 2. And uh, the, the difference analog of that, those results, for those uh, results, consider the first order approximation of the differential operator AX defined in the previous slide. Ashley and also candidly prove the difference analog of the above results in 35, 36. And moreover, uh, considering, considering a second order approximation of the differential operator AX, which was defined uh, in the previous slide, uh, Ashrael and also Yeni Al uh, Altai established a difference analog of the above results in 37. In 38, Ashrael and also Yaz investigated differential operator defined by 19, where the domain of definition is defined like this where mu is between L over two and L. Uh, they prove again, strong positivity of AX in C. And they also established the equals of the norms in the fractional space E mu and also her that space C two alpha. And moreover, the, they uh, conclude the strong positivity of AX in the Hölder space where alpha in zero to one over two. Uh, moreover, similar, uh, Difference out of these results are obtained in 39, considering a first order approximation of the differential operator AX defined in 19 and, uh, yeah, in 19, sorry. The authors established a difference analog of these results. Uh, in 40, yeah, uh, the authors consider the operator 20 where delta positive and the dominant definition is periodic condition and also an integral condition. They also prove the positivity of operator uh, AX in the Banach space CR1. Moreover, they prove the uh, equals of the norm E alpha and also C dot two alpha. And they also conclude the positivity of the operator AX in the Hölder spaces C dot two alpha. Now, I, I, I uh, these are all, uh, what I prepared, uh, uh, what uh, what I recall uh, so far, uh, as it was well known that part PD equations have plenty of important application in wide ra range of areas in science, such as physics, chemistry, biology, ecology, engineering, and also mathematics. For example, harmonic analysis, geometry to uh, literary differential geometry. In mathematical modeling, design it, uh, design it to describe such application. PD together with boundary conditions specifying the solution on the boundary of domain, uh, classical one, Dirichlet-Neumann type uh, condition. However, 
Uh, the mathematical models of various physical and uh, chemical and also bi or bi biological application often involve non-classical conditions. Actually, uh, as mentioned above, we, uh, we explained some of them. Uh, the values of various classical and non-classical boundary wave problems for PDE and difference equation has been investigated extensively with the help of operator theory. <clears throat> In late 70s, Yankin investigated a non-classical problem for a one-dimensional uh, parabolic equation, uh, which was arising in physics in modeling some non-classical thermal uh, processing occurring in the plasma. Uh, with the help of separation variables, uh, variables uh, method, uh, this problem uh, was reduced to uh, spectral problem number two, uh, 22. In, the pro uh, in paper 42, uh, Yang improved the stability of such uh, solutions. And in 43, Samarski proved, uh, proved, uh, I'm sorry, proposed a non-local boundary variable problem for parabolic equation one space variable covering both classical initial uh, boundary variable problem and also Yang problems. Uh, recently, many researchers have investigated various non-local boundary uh, variable problems with uh, Samarski Yankee condition, I'm sorry, I think I made a mistake here. Uh, uh, for PDE, these are some of them. And for example, in the paper 55, the authors consider a Samarski Yankee type boundary condition, well, the problem, sorry, for the Poisson uh, equation in the disk. Moreover, uh, they prove the well poses of the problem. And furthermore, they constructed the green function for that problem. Now, these are about uh, survey. In the present talk, we will consider the operator number 23, where I denotes the identity operator, and domain of definition, I'm sorry, domain of definition is uh, like this. So we add just this part, mu times u of one, with mu is positive. And let us recall uh, the definition of some spaces, uh, C, Let's see a zero one be the balance space of real valid continuous functions. Yeah. Uh, F equipped with the maximum norm. Uh, let's uh, for beta in zero one, let's see beta with the balance space of real valid continuous function. F defined on zero one for which the following holder norm is finite. And let me also uh, define the, that C holder norm with dot where f is further function. Moreover, we have these conditions. We investigate the result of AX. Namely, we consider the number, equation number 25, equivalent to uh, 26. We establish the positivity of differential operator AX in the C space. We also investigate the structure of the fraction spaces E alpha, uh, moreover, we proved uh, we, we proved that for each alpha in zero, uh, in in the interval zero to one over two, the norm spaces are topologically equivalent. Hence, we established the positivity of AX in uh, C dot further space. Uh, moreover, we will apply the theoretical results to obtain novel course of inequalities for solution of non-local boundary value problem for parabolic uh, equation. Uh, let us start with the following uh, construction grid function. For each lambda positive, the equation has a unique solution. And moreover, the following formula, 27 poles, where G is the green function satisfying the equation, equation 28. Now, clearly, for the boundary value problem 29, we have the following formula, 30 where A is the radical one plus uh, lambda. If we take the derivative of that one, we have the equation 31. And combining the 30, 30 and 31, moreover the non-local conditions, uh, these conditions, uh, gives us equation uh, 30, 32, or we have the identity 33. Hence, we have 34 then we obtain the uh, 
solution namely we obtained the we derived the green uh, green function now g in that lemma is as uh, is so called green function of the result equation 25 next i would like to talk about the estimates for the green function let s phi be the sector uh, where phi is less than one. If lambda is in the sector, the green function uh, 28 of the result equation 25 satisfies the following S base, namely one and two for the boundary uh, for the domain, x less than S and more than S cases. The proof goes like this. If we take a point from the sector, we have 38, uh, yeah, 30, 36, sorry, not 38, 36. And moreover, we have 37. Thus, we obtain the uh, equality for uh, 30, uh, 38. If you combine, we obtain easily estimate 39. And combining 39, uh, um, I'm sorry, moreover from 39, it follows the following uh, estimate 40. If X is less than S, we have the estimates 41 and 42, both cases. If S is less than uh, other case, I mean, S is less than X, we have the 43 and 44. Hence, we obtain the, okay. From equations 39 and 40, uh, 31, 39 was about uh, yeah, lambda and 40 was, sorry. My mistake. Yeah, this is 39 and this is 40. Uh, from equations 39, 40, and the fact that lamb uh, 1 plus lambda in square root lies in the sector, we have the 45 estimate. Equations uh, 41 to the 45 finishes the proof of I in the lemma 2. By using the 28 for x is less than 8, we have the uh, uh, derivative 46, equal, equal to 46. And for x is more than the, uh, more than s, we have uh, 47. If you combine these and also equations 41 to 45, finishes the proof of the, it finishes the proof of the lemma and uh, double i for lemma 2. Next, I would, like to, I would like to talk about the positivity in C. Let S phi be the sector where phi is less than pi over two. If lambda lies in the sector, then the resolvent satisfies the following estimate. And the proof goes like this. Uh, using the estimate I from lemma two, we have estimate 48. From this and the fact that two positive numbers uh, uh, for, for two positive numbers, geometric mean is less than arithmetic mean, yields us estimate 49. And, I'm sorry. Hence, for each x in the interval 0 to 1, we have the estimate 50. Therefore, we get the estimate 51, namely, we get the positivity uh, condition in C. Next, I will talk about I will talk, talk, talk about the refraction spaces E alpha. Combining theorem one, commutativity of the operators A X in uh, and also it is resolvent, and also definition of the norm one, uh, E alpha norm. We have the positivity of A X in the fractional space E alpha, where alpha is between zero to one. Uh, <clears throat> moreover, we have the uh, Estimate 52, hence we have the positivity in E alpha. Okay, now we have the following result, namely, for each alpha in 0, 1 over 2, the norm spaces E alpha and the uh, uh, C dot 2 alpha Hölder space uh, are topologic equivalent. Uh, the condition for that one is on the boundary we have, they vanishes, the functions are vanishing. Uh, clearly, for lambda positive, we have the equality 53. Using the 27, uh, which was the green function, uh, and also the fact that f0 is equal to f1, which is equal to 0, 
the condition we, we put on that, uh, we get this equality. This is equal to, we can write this as follows. And like this, namely K1 through K4, K40, sorry. Now, first of all, let us start with K1. By the fact that, uh, by the uh, fact that lambda for alpha less than one plus lambda and the definition of the C dot further norm yields us the following, 54, estimate 54. And hence, uh, we have the estimate 55. If you, <clears throat> If, it, if x is changing, we have 55. For here and the future, let us also note the following. For c positive, we have estimate 56, error non uh, estimate. Uh, from the definition of c dot uh, to alpha norm uh, space, estimate 56, and the fact that this one, we have the K2 is less than or equal to uh, uh, F, uh, the norm of F. Hence, we get the estimate 58. Okay. Now, again, using the definition of this space and the estimate 56, it's better to recall the estimate 56. Uh, one second. 56 is this over and over. Uh, 56 gives us, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I think we, I was, yeah, let me remember, K2. Yeah. From the definition of Holder no, uh, space and estimate 56, and the fact that this fact, we have the following K2 is satisfying the estimate 50, uh, 57, and hence we have the estimate 58. And using definition of the this space and moreover the uh, estimate 56, and also this estimate, we obtain the K3 satisfies the uh, estimate 59. Hence we have the estimate 60 for K3. Uh, the triangle equality definition of the Holder space mm -hmm. and the fact uh, and the fact that this fact and moreover the estimate 56 gives us the estimate 61 k4 about k5 again combine the triangle inequality definition of the space estimate 56 and this inequality moreover the fact that Gamma two alpha less than the gamma two alpha plus one less than one. We have the estimate sixty two for K five. For K six, we have, uh, we we treat in a similar manner and obtain the estimate sixty three. Likewise, as in the sixty two estimate sixty two, we obtain the uh, sixty four K for K seven and similar results as in the K uh, sixty two gives us. Estimate for K8, namely 65. Likewise, as in the case of 63, we have K9, namely 66. And it follows from the reason similar to estimate 65. We have the estimate for K10, namely 67. Applying the reasons as in the 66, we obtain the estimate for K11, and namely 68. The reasons as in six, estimate 62 yields the estimate for K12, estimate 69. Likewise, we have the estimate for K3 by a similar manner, uh, K13, sorry, K13. And finally, following the reasons as in 68, we have the estimate for K14. And combining all these estimates, we obtain the estimate 72. And hence, we have the estimate 73. Now we will prove the reverse estimate to finish the proof of the equals of the uh, topology equals of the uh, norm spaces. Just uh, from the positive property, we have the following equality 74, where I denotes the identity operator. Using the formula 27, namely green function formula, and moreover the equality 74, we have the 
uh, we can write f of x as 75. And formula 75, triangle inequality, definition of EI for uh, space, and estimate I from lemma 2 yields us the following 76, but we split as M1, N2, N3, and we will estimate each of them separately. And using the substitution eta, we obtain the estimate for N1, namely 77. In a similar manner, by change of variable eta, we obtain the estimate for N2, namely 78. And using the substitution eta, lambda to the power 1 over 2, s minus x over 2, we obtain the estimate for N3, 79. If you combine 77, 78, and 79, we get estimate for <clears throat> uh, f of x, namely estimate 80. Hence, we have the estimate 81. Now, next, uh, we will, uh, we will, we will uh, I'm sorry, this was soup. Next, we will estimate for the supremum over this set, this quotient, 82. Sorry, my mistake. Uh, from formula 75 uh, for f, if, if you apply that, we can write this difference as uh, like that. Using the, this formula and the triangle inequality and the definition of E alpha yields us uh, inequality uh, 83. Uh, to estimate 84, we will write as follows, 85. Uh, this will be L1, L2, and L3, and we will estimate each part separately. From estimate double I in lemma two, lemma, uh, L1 has estimate 86, but before that, we, we will split uh, as follows. Uh, L1, one, L1, one, and L1, two, where L1, one is this piece, and L1, two is second part. By substitution eta, we get L11 satisfies the estimate 87. And performing the change of variable eta, we have the estimate for L12. And combining the estimates 87 and 88, we have the estimate for L1, namely 89. From the triangle inequality and estimate I in lemma 2, it follows that L2 satisfies this estimate. And we write as again L21, uh, L22, uh, L23, and we will estimate separately each of them. By the change of variable eta, we have the following result L21 satisfies the inequality, night one. And similarly, using this substitution, we have the estimate for L22, 92. And likewise, the change of variable eta yields us the estimate for the L23, and combining these three estimates, we obtain the estimate for the L2. And finally, we will estimate L3. Applying the estimate double I in lemma two and using the substitution eta, now we, can, uh, we have the estimate for L3, 95. And if you combine all these, it is 89, 94, and 95, we obtain the estimate 94. And moreover, we obtain and this results us the following estimate 97, which is the uh, difference quotient part. And combined estimates 81 and uh, 97 concludes the proof of the uh, theorem 2. Therefore, these two spaces are topological equivalents. Next, I will talk, talk, talk about the application. First application is as follows. Uh, let us consider the initial boundary value problem, 98. UTT is minus UXX plus U is equal to F of T, F of TX. And we have the initial and also we have the condition like these, where we is positive fixed number, F and Psi are sufficient to smooth functions. Uh, our first uh, result is the following. If alpha is in zero, one over two, then the solutions of the initial uh, boundary value problem 98 satisfies the following coercivity, coercivity stability estimate. Uh, this one. The proof of theorem 3 relies on the structure result, namely theorem 2, of the fraction spaces E alpha 
and the positive, positive results, namely theorem one of the operator AX in C, and also the following theorem on the course of stability of initial one, uh, problem for abstract probability equation. Uh, uh, if alpha is, uh, if A is strong positive operator in balance space E and F is uh, C zero T, uh, uh, from C zero T to E beta, where beta is in zero one, then the solution of the initial value problem 99 in a balanced space E with positive operator A satisfies the following course with estimate. Our second application is as follows. Let us consider non-local boundary value prob uh, problem, probability pro equation, 100, where mu is positive, fixed number, F is sufficient smooth. And the result is as follows. If alpha is in 0, 1 over 2, then the solution of the boundary value problem 100 uh, for the solution, we have the following course with the estimate, uh, this one. And the proof of theorem 5 depends on the structure result theorem 3 of E alpha and the positive result theorem 1 of the operator AX and also the following result on the course of stability of the non-local boundary value uh, boundary for the abstract parabolic equation, namely this one. If A is strong positive operator A in a one space E and F is function like that, beta is in uh, zero one, then for the solution of the non-local boundary value problem 101 in one space E with positive operator A satisfies the following coercivity estimate, this one. Uh, I think I'm done.